Hey guys, this is the second time I've tried to record this reading. Um, so the card's already drawn, the prayer's already said. Someone here and you could um, be a Minnetonkin starseed. You long for home, you're an original light worker. You long for a sense of belonging, no matter in your family, um, most like your general friend groups, work, everywhere you go, you just feel like there's you know, you have this sense of longing for home, right? You're being called to share your inner voice, come out of the cave. You've been persecuted your whole life by the family, even by people that were supposed to help you heal, uplift you. Um, this person could have been a woman or a masculine and feminine energy with dark hair or dark skin. They didn't hidden secrets can harm you with a skull so there's something that you've kept hidden or this could be like from some type form of abuse and some of you may have thought about speaking about this on the platform seeking justice something like that um i feel very much this is some type of sa trigger warning child abuse um things of that nature i feel like this person still treats you this way and has others you know I, I feel like there's maybe a group of people that gang up on you these people are very sneaky I feel like there's a cut in coming to this situation though I feel like you are finally learning to do that you're doing the shadow work you're learning to heal here with the star this is going to bring you some type of success and joy completion and may even you may even meet your partner sharing this truth i feel like on a platform or writing a book or through art in some way shape or form we have cancer and aquarian energy here um the person could be this size but don't have to be now with the minute talking um you're an original light worker there is something here that's a very hard decision for you to make okay this has been a journey physically and mentally you intuitively know that that this stress is affecting your health yet no one seems to have checked up maybe they don't ask about you you know they only are thinking about themselves and yet they're projecting maybe this about you right um i feel like you need to play it says celebrate have fun don't be so serious celebrate your growth and your achievements okay um I feel like there is someone that wants to hold on tightly to you, but yet they shun you at the same time. They want to control you. They want to control what you do, um, even though they may pretend that they don't. You've, you've got a lot of heavy burdens from this person. This person should have possibly could have possibly should have defended you when you were younger, and they didn't. Um, this person, like they always find fault in you you're not the same person you were yesterday six months ago six weeks ago even a day ago years ago especially you're healing and growing daily okay your guidance here is to cut these people places and things out that no longer resonate with you this will help you get out of these troubled waters okay you're going to calmer waters but you have to cut this energy out and beware of greed so i feel like someone in this dynamic this group of people that's related to this woman with dark hair dark skin or this masculine or whoever this person is there's more than one person here for some of you it could be a family it could be a friend group it could just be people different they don't even have to have any relation to each other i feel like somebody wants to take this abundance the spiritual abundance that's coming in for you with the four leaf clover or this great good fortune someone in or that's linked to this woman uh is very greedy and they want that they know that you are have a star quality about you they don't want you to um, do better than them, some of them, okay? Four nineteen 19 on the clock. I also saw 818. Um, so you have a spiritual love coming in. The bouquet and the lily. Lilies could be significant. Any of the four leaf clover, the pig, the angel, the skull. Um, seeing things like this or a carriage could be confirmation of this reading. So you're being guided to, th these people are being sneaky. They're talking shit behind your back there's an ending coming or an ending here in this situation with scorpio energy so you can try you're going to transform the choice is yours yes okay however there's also a choice when it comes to love you're about to join with somebody soon your options are limitless this is somebody that you're going to have great passion for that 
you know, will see the value of your worth and hold on tightly to you, let you be you and, and not be jealous, know and trust you and you'll trust them. And it's going to end in a marriage here. They're going to help you heal and it's expansive joy, joy, joyful expansion, oneness. Okay, this is per your. This is somebody that will unconditionally love you as you love them, equally yoked to you. You will give or receive affection. You're about to fall in love. Your heart's evolving. You're going to the next phase as you heal your inner child. You're growing rapidly. This person has, holds the key to your heart, and you hold the key to theirs. So take the risk. There is going to be. When these people reach out or anyone from your past or whatever that has held you back, made you limited, made you feel less than and continues to do so, you're, don't deal with it. They want to start drama. Avoid the conversation. This, set your boundaries. This is healthy. This is self-love. It's not you being greedy, okay? It's not you only caring about yourself or being a quote-unquote narcissist. You need to focus on yourself, your self-worth. It's time for you to heal and dive deep into your shadow work, not just of your child years, but your teen years, your adult years, and appreciate yourself. You're creating your happiness, your heaven on earth. You're stepping into happiness, joy, expansion, and oneness. You're having a bringing back that playful, childlike energy, which is going to help your gifts expand, by the way. And you're about to enjoy this person. This person, you're going to walk into them possibly while you're out to eat or having a cup of coffee or while you're speaking your truth or on a platform or telling your story um they're going to ask you on a date and it's going to be a lighthearted and fun time things are going to come to light you're going to realize who this person is they're going to help you adapt change and heal further help you see partners in a whole new way now that was the end of the reading here so Divine Masters, what's the most important message? I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes so I can post it to TikTok as well. Kasumi, this is a part of your, initiative your initiation, okay? Was to see these people for who they are, what they, role they play. This is some past life stuff, okay? I feel like these are karmic family members, a karmic friends, karmic people, karmic situations. Your current situation is initiating your gifts. You have Melchizedek with divine knowledge or you're being initiated for higher learning commit to your vision through study you're being guided to study what you're curious about that's for a reason 737 on the clock Beragini, you're transcending fear facing your fear leads to fearlessness this is going to help you embrace your power and roomy with mystical knowing you're breaking your own personal boundaries meaning you are a fear okay and you're setting boundaries where they need to be set you're about to have a personal experience of God if you haven't already yet. And you have profit, prosperity vibration with Lakashimi and Ganesh. You're attracting health, wealth, and happiness. Okay? Let's tap into Archangel Michael cards. 819 on the clock. Archangel Michael, what's your guidance here with this situation? I already had these pulled, but I put them up. It says, use your imagination. You'll see the answer. Take your time making this decision. This situation is already resolved. Your home is protected by the angels. You and your loved ones are safe. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. So there's a truth about this situation or these people, places, and things that you need, need to be admit. It says, have a sense of humor. See it for what it is. Go forward fearlessly. Do not let anyone or anything hold you back. You created the situation. You have the power to change it. What that means is like, Instead of setting boundaries before, you maybe you didn't, okay? Not that you created the abuse. Don't think that. Trigger warning, by the way. And honor and trust your feelings, okay? Um, sometimes you have to love people from a distance, and I feel like there's a lot of that coming up in the collective energy. I hope that this reading helps you all. 911 on the clock. <laughs> so, um, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps somebody. Thank you. Until we meet again.